Right, for f sake, I get it, you're mad. If you didn't know, earlier in the year, in one of my top 10 moments of the week video, I said I would save WrestleMania 32 moments for a different list, well, 5 months later, here it is. Sorry. Anyways, it's better late than never and I'm here to bring you the top 10 WrestleMania 32 moments. WrestleMania 32, it was an odd show. It had its ups, downs, and what the f moments. My name is Marv, and here are the top 10 WrestleMania 32 moments. Number 10. John Cena returns to aid The Rock. After a ridiculous 6 second match, the Wyatt family set a target on The Rock and surrounded the ring. And then... Watch out, do 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 John Cena comes out. After a few months from rotator cuff surgery, John Cena returned for WrestleMania. Because, what's WrestleMania without Super Cena himself? I swear the man has Deadpool healing powers. Number 9. Brock Lesnar F5's Dean Ambrose on chairs. Pretty much a one-sided match in the death of Dean Ambrose. After delivering 13 suplexes to Dean Ambrose, Brock Lesnar ended it with an F5 to Dean Ambrose on the pile of chairs. Number 8. Lita reveals the new women's championship. A new era of women's wrestling has officially begun. In the WrestleMania pre-show, Lita revealed what would be the end of the Divas title and the beginning of the WWE Women's Championship. Finally, we will no longer see that dumb butterfly design. Women's wrestling, welcome back. We missed you. Number 7. Shane McMahon performs a coast to coast. A classic move from Shane McMahon, he placed a trash can on the face of The Undertaker and hit him with a coast to coast, one memorable spot in this match. Number 6. Roman Reigns spears Stephanie McMahon. Though the ending was abysmal, this is one spot where people went nuts over. We never thought we could see a man attack a woman, intentional or not. Triple H dodged a spear, and Roman ended up taking out Stephanie with a spear, something we thought we would never see again. Number 5. Sami Zayn drops Kevin Owens on the ladder. The Intercontinental Championship ladder match, which was great by the way, featured many good spots, i.e. seeing cars jump off the ropes, Sami Zayn jump through the ladders, but arguably the most memorable one was Sami Zayn dropping Kevin Owens on the ladder, practically killing him. We really hope you were alright at that time, Kevin. Number 4. Zack Ryder wins the Intercontinental Championship. Admit it, no one saw this coming. Zack Ryder finally got his WrestleMania moment by climbing the ladder and retrieving the Intercontinental Championship. It's a shame he lost it the next night though. Number 3. Charlotte's Moonsault During the amazing Triple Threat women's match with an unfortunate ending, Charlotte performed a moonsault onto Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks who were outside the ring. As great as it was, she only hit Becky and completely missed Sasha which caused Becky's black eye. But beside that, it was an amazing spot and it is one of the most defining moments of how important and awesome women's wrestling is. Number 2. Mick Foley, Shawn Michaels, and Steve Austin share cold ones. After their victory, the League of Nations were boasting about how there is no one worthy enough to challenge them. This was rebuttaled with Shawn Michaels, Mick Foley, and Stone Cold Steve Austin coming out and beating up the League of Nations. After beating up Xavier Woods, the three legends got in the middle of the ring and shared a couple of cold ones. Number 1. The Leap of Faith Truly the best spot of the night and it received a huge pop. The Undertaker was lying on the announce table so Shane McMahon does what any rational man would do. He climbs a the cell, then leaps off of it. But as he was falling, the Undertaker got out of the way and Shane crashed straight through the announce table. This proved how much Shane McMahon wanted to take over WWE. Unfortunately, it marked the beginning of the end for Shane McMahon, even though he later would take control of Monday Night Raw and became Commissioner of SmackDown. But that's beside the point. WrestleMania stipulations, they don't matter anymore. And that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed. Did I leave anything out? Tell me in the comments below. Any support such as liking, sharing, and subscribing is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you next time. Peace.